So the second verse, he says, until the day in which he was taken up, after he through what? The Holy Spirit. So even Jesus was operating through what? Come on, talk back to me. He was operating through what? So, so Dr. Luke wants Theophilus, a dignitary, to understand the account of what happened in the life of Jesus of Nazareth. And he says, Jesus Christ, even up to the time he was taken up, everything he did was through the Holy Spirit. And notice he gave them commandment to the apostles whom he had chosen. And verse 3, and to whom he also presented himself alive after the suffering by many infallible proofs. Yeah. I'm going to say it again. Jesus, after he was raised from the dead, he presented himself to the apostles by many infallible proofs. That's where I'm going. The church has been trying to be a witness to Jesus Christ, but they lack infallible proofs. But when Jesus was testifying of his own resurrection and life, he presented it with many infallible truths. And so it's time for the church to get a hold of some infallible truths and proofs. Now notice this, being seen by them during 40 days. He was around after the resurrection for 40 days. And uh, speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. So look, even after Jesus was raised from the dead, he was preaching the kingdom. After he was raised from the dead, he's no longer just talking about the church. He started preaching to them about the kingdom. And he said to them in verse 4, check this out. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait, look at this, for the promise of who? The Father. So the Holy Spirit is a promise of the Father. Which he said, you have heard from me. And we know they heard from him according to John chapter 14. You remember that, right? Uh, he told them he's been with you, but he shall be in you. But you must wait, according to Luke 24, until you are endued with power from on high. And so you heard this from me. And in verse 5, he says, check this out. For John, Jesus was very doctrinally sound and methodical and thorough because uh, <laughs> you know one of the challenges of today's Christians is that um, they are caught up in living that they forget that they are a spiritual being let me put it another way the reason a person can claim to be an atheist and think that they have escaped answering eternal questions is because they've forgotten or are ignorant of the fact that they are a spirit. But because you are a spirit, you have no choice but to participate in spiritual matters because that's the essence of who you are, whether or not you like it. 